we start with forward chart. As you can see, the price broke the lowest price of this correction. By the way, you want to see whether we can look for buy or not, because if we refer to our analysis, since the price was within this down move, we have been looking for buy. And this is what we get. After that, there was no continuation and we get one more drop because we mentioned the next drop, easily we can expect the price drop to 22. As we can see, almost the price dropped to what we expected. By the way, we move to weekly chart. The one thing I want to highlight based on weekly chart. And I'm looking at this one as a flat. All right, how deep this one can go? Even we can expect the price to take the lowest price of this one, but I don't think so it will happen. And we're looking for running flat. That's why we from if you get any opportunity for buy based on lower time frame, and mostly I'm looking for daily chart. If I get any opportunity for buy as a reversal, I will take it. All right. And we prefer to see the reversal. We do the breakout of the 22. All right. Uh, again, if you get any opportunity for buy, we will take it. And we need to see the breakout of the 35, 39, and 43. This is a short term target. But mostly I'm looking for a target as a long term, which is a 62 following by 77. That's mean if you get any opportunity for buy, we'll take it. But based on daily chart, we don't have any trade setup for buy. And even if you move to forward chart right now, I'm looking at this one, all right? Even we can expect this one consider as a channel or even we can expect for the extension before we see the reversal. Any opportunity for buy from here, we will take it. And even if you refer to indicators, we see we have a divergence. That's mean right now, any opportunity for buy from here, we will take it. How are we going to look at this one? We don't need to really go into the details. But the only question is, we cannot put this one in relative to this. In case the next drop can be in relative to what we have here is really high. That's why we mentioned we can expect this one to extend some more before we see the reversal. That's mean if you get any opportunity for buy from now, we'll take it. But if it's not moving our direction, we should know how to manage it. Any sell is a short term and we're looking for buy. For sure, the best thing is if we see one more drop, then from there we look for the reversal because in terms of the risk and reward, it can give us better opportunity to for buy. But at the same point, if this one turns to a deeper correction, any opportunity for buy from here also, we can take it. And with the breakout of the previous stop, we have to start to manage it. Anyway, we don't see any trade setup for buy and you are not really interested to look for sell. Even if you want to look for sell, we have to wait for the price to drop sharply, flying by flag before we take the next trade. Sharply, flag, we take the next trade picture. For me, I'm not really interested. I'm looking for buy. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update or any trade setup, then I will share. Thanks.